Oh my god, it feels like a dream. Someone please wake me up. How did they do it? Nigerian Flamingos just defeated the United States under 17 women's team to pull up a very big upset in this competition. After you say won their group with seven points, but Nigeria found a way to defeat the United States on penalties, four goals to three. After playing a 1-1 draw after 90 minutes, the USA threw everything at Nigeria. They had a whopping 27 shots in total. 59% possession, 3 shots on target, but they could not just find the winning goal against Nigeria. These ladies deserve all the praise and respect right now for taking us this far in the competition because it just made history for the first time Nigeria made it to the semi-finals at the other 17 FIFA Women's World Cup after 4 attempts. In 2010 we failed, in 2012 we failed, in 2014 we failed and finally in 2022 we are through to the semi-finals. Remember 16 countries started this competition and right now Nigeria made it to the final 4. I will be playing the semi-finals on the 26th of October on Wednesday against either Colombia or Tanzania. I remember this is the day when Nigeria makes history and become the first African team to leave the under 17 Women's World Cup. I know we just made this trip, but at the same time, there's still a lot of work to be done. I know we are still in the celebratory mode, but after this, we have to get back to work. Lots of mistakes I noticed during the game against the United States, and I feel like the coaching crew would have observed this as well to make sure they correct these mistakes because, of course, we want to go all the way. Remember, we started really slow. We lost to Germany our first game, two goals to one. And we bounce back to beating New Zealand, to beating Chile, and now send the United States packing out of India in this competition. And we want to continue to progress, we want to continue to go far all the way to the final and possibly leave the trophy. And that's why I'm saying that we have to work on our mistakes, we have to be clinical in attack, we have to learn how to defend well as a unit, and I'm sure the coach will work on this. I would like to add that for bringing us this far, we have to appreciate each and every player from the keeper Fito to Milana, the substitute keeper Linda Juwaku, to defenders Edafi, Fulano Rochelle, Miraku, Sani, Adeshino, Blessing Emmanuel in midfield, Moshaku, Taiwa Folabi, Amon Omi Belu, Okoyemi Ajakaye, Etim, Alvin Dazuzu was injured as I could not participate in this game. Each and every player really did well and I want to appreciate them for bringing us this far. How far do you think Nigeria will go at this tournament? I'll be talking about Nigeria's game at the 17th World Cup. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. Bye.